Hi guys, welcome back. It has been a hot minute. She go Carol. <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. It's been a hot minute, but what a time to come back. I was like, it's September, you know, it's the season for our new uh, freshers to be entering uni and everyone else will be going back. And I'm just like, oh, let's do a little, little freshers series because this is all the stuff I wish somebody had told me before I went off to uni and today, the video is all about health because listen, health is wealth. Ain't no way you're gonna be focusing on anything else if your health is not in order. So these are all the things I wish somebody had told me about health matters before going off to uni. So guys, number one, first things first, congratulations to all my peeves who have been accepted into their universities, whether by choice, whether by claim, it doesn't matter, you're there now, we thank God. And I'm happy for you and I'm proud of you guys. Like, it's no easy thing, it's no easy feat, but seriously, I'm happy, happy, happy for you and so, so proud. Good luck on your journey forward. Uh, the sister's gonna be praying for you that the Lord will, the, the Lord will just, you in place so that you're able to just focus and do your thing but also enjoy yourself because uni is just going to be in an it's going to be an amazing chapter number one um it's a, a period of self-discovery self-love but also realizing what you love what you don't love which is important <laughs> um and just it's going to be a whirlwind experience it's learning not only about what is in your books but mainly mainly about yourself and what you really just want to take away from life uh, a lot of people don't tell you this but after uni is when you really realize the habits and stuff you are you are procreating and creating at university really and truly become your life <laughs> um yeah so you learn so much and i just i'm happy for you man and i'm excited for you in this next phase and for the people going back i see you respects um good luck second year or third year or fourth year whatever you're going back for um it's never easy but you got this so let's get into it what is the first thing i wish somebody got had told me about health before i went to uni number one find out where your nearest hospital is where is your nearest accident and emergency department <laughs> it sounds crazy but i'll tell you why i personally <laughs> I had a very nasty chest infection two weeks into uni I was I was nearly gone let me be honest with you like my cough was so bad everybody in my accommodation could hear like how badly I was coughing like it was keeping me up at night clearly keeping some of my accom people up as well so sorry um but it was bad like I couldn't sleep and <clears throat> so I needed to see the GP but do you know what they said to me at uni first of all we need to register you and then we need to get you to see the doctor which is like a little bit of a waiting list anyway and I was on the phone to the lady like miss I don't think I'm gonna make it these many days you're telling me to wait like I need to see the doctor now she was like I'm really sorry the next best thing you can do is go to hospital did I know where the nearest hospital was no I didn't and it wasn't serious enough to call 911 well 999 in this country so I called 111 and for those of you that aren't from the UK 111 is the non-emergency number that you call where you need medical advice or medical attention but maybe like your doctor's GP office is closed or you're unwell but you you're sure it's not an emergency but you need medical advice ASAP so I called them and let me tell you it was serious because I only said hello and then I had a coughing fit so obviously I'm, I said hello and then <laughs> went on <laughs> and the man over the phone was like oh dear that doesn't sound too good does it and I was like mm. And just like trying to recover myself and he was like that must be the reason you're calling and i was like yes sir um i need help <laughs> i can't sleep i can't eat probably like this is, is ruining my life what do we do and because he'd heard me like cough obviously this was before covid so he was like you uh, that needs medical attention so what i'm gonna do which i didn't even know one one on could do like shout out he was like i'm gonna try and get you booked into the next um any near you so they can see you I was like okay and he said some name of a hospital did I know where that was hello <laughs> did I I had no clue and he was like oh if you get the, if you get there within the next hour they should be able to see you and I was like where is this place you speak of <laughs> obviously I couldn't say that to him so I was like yeah yeah, yeah cool, cool cool I get off the phone and god bless my friend Tanaka she was with me walked me through the whole process stayed with me at any god bless you sis and um I was like, Tanaka, where is this hospital he speaks of? So we jump on Google and we're like, oh my God, like, and we're trying to see the hospitals near us. We couldn't even probably remember the name of the hospital that he said to us. Anyway, 
cut a long story short, we end up Ubering to another hospital that was a little bit nearer to the uni than the man had obviously recommended for us. And it ended up being a 25, 30 minute drive there. It was at cost, obviously. It was nighttime as well, because obviously nighttime is when it was really bad. And my friend was like, you can't keep on going on like this. And, um, <laughs> It was an ordeal. I feel like that requires a story time of its own. It was an ordeal, but we got there. I say all this to say, please, 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 um, find out where your nearest any is. If you're moved in already and you're at your dorms, and at this very morning you're listening to this, or maybe you're moving in next week or the week after that, and you're listening, you're like, I know what my uni is, but I don't know where my nearest any is. Stop it, fix it. Please do your Google search now. <laughs> It's crazy, but like health problems don't knock, they kick in the door. So when you need like emergency services and maybe it's not, like I said, for my case, not as serious for you to be calling an ambulance, but you need to be seen, you need accident and emergency. So find out where your nearest um, hospital stroke a &E is. And number two, find out how much it is to get there. So for us, we had Uber, but for some places, obviously I understand we're in the countryside. <laughs> for you uh, you're in the countryside and you need a taxi maybe so find out how much it is by taxi find out how much to go and to come back so if it's 25 pounds to go 25 pounds to come back plus surge prices if you're going in the night time so for example that example of a trip i've given it would be 50 pounds maybe plus another 10 because of surge prices if you're going in the night time so your emergency kitty should maybe have 60 pounds put away for if you need a trip to the hospital suddenly so that's number one find out where your nearest hospital and emergency is and in this country we are so blessed i was able to be x-rayed bloods done and i went home with my auntie antibiotics and I was seen by a doctor as well so it's really like it comes in clutch so find out number two is of course GPs um you know we're at that age now where you can't be like mother me madre <laughs> could you please call the GP for me <laughs> you're now you're, you're you're solo so you need to be doing this stuff yourself if you need to see the GP um you need to see a GP near you you cannot be trekking all the way home unless you're close to home you know and if you are anyway conversation for another day um <laughs> but if you are good for you most of us are not you're not close to your gp at home so you need to have access to a gp at the uni most unis will have a healthcare center and if you have gps on site oh mwah, which was our case that is really good like obviously gps on campus stress-free but you still need to register so if you are at uni you've got a new student id and you're there please register to your gp on site like particularly if you know you have some issues that occur some of us already know some things that bring us to the doctor more than once within the year or at least once within the year you're spending 80 percent of your time at uni so if you need a doctor sign up to your gp some unis may not have a gp on site at their healthcare center it might just be nurses fair enough find out what gps around your university take in students so don't panic it's usually a temporary transfer you don't have to be there for life as long as long as you tell them i'm a uni student i'm transferring temporarily from my home gp to yourselves just for the time at uni they will understand you don't have to stick down oh my god i love my gp back home don't worry it's just a temporary transfer no need to panic so please get your GP sorted sign up to the GP especially if it brings me to point number three if you have pre-existing prescriptions that require renewal reapproval and all that jazz please definitely get yourself a GP close to uni it just makes life so much easier like um what example can I give uh maybe for example like with me with my migraine medications some medications are after maybe two three months or maybe five months you need to then be seen re-reviewed and then the GP will be like okay cool we can carry on with this medication or change them so in that sort of case you obviously need to be seen by the GP they need to take your BP they need to have a conversation with you easier if your GP is on site at uni so you know get that sorted guys it sounds oh you know silly extra for no reason it's so important it's so so important so gps are number one number two on prescriptions if if you have pre-existing prescriptions before you touch your 10 toes at your uni site call your gp and be like is there anything i need to do i.e see you in order to transfer my prescriptions or get a month prescription refill before i go so some of you don't know this but if you're going on holiday for example like myself when I go to when I go back home to Kenya to like see family and stuff, we're obviously gonna be there for more than four weeks. In that time, 
some of my prescriptions might need refilling so I will call the GP and let them know I'm gonna be away from the country for four weeks I know my prescription is due on this day but I'm not gonna be here so could you possibly do my prescription now uh, refill it so I can pick it up and have it with me when I go on holiday obviously so the same thing you can do for uni you can let them know I haven't signed up to a GP at the uni yet or I'm in the process of but before I sign up settle and find a pharmacy can I have my next month's prescription so sorted out so I have it with me so by the next time the other the second month of prescriptions comes around I'm, I'm good I'm ready and I have a, um, a GP on site and I have a pharmacy that I know blah 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 so call your GP because they'll let you know um, if they've got any medications on your review or record that require them to see you before you go off they'll tip those off before you do if they require to do any bloods before you go they'll do all that and then it just saves you another stress two to three months of stress of you maybe having to have calls from them back home can you come back with your bloods blah, 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 blah. saves you a lot so do that and then another thing with prescriptions is let your gp know that you will be moving gps and that way they would transfer your whole package and go again it just it makes it easier so that when you when your new gp um, practice goes over your prescriptions they're not going to be stressing you with oh you know we, the doctor needs to see you before they sign this off particularly if your home gp has already done a consult and everything before that you'll be fine so just let them know you'll be transferring and then if anything comes out and just double check are my prescriptions good to also transfer and just have them actioned at this new gp okay and then another thing with prescriptions is find out where your nearest pharmacy is usually you send it to the pharmacy nearest to your house same thing with uni you want to send it to the nearest pharmacy to you um, near your accommodation or the home you're staying at so find out what that is and obviously let them know as well if you do the thing where i said before where you let them know about the month prescription and they they say okay that's fine they give you the month you then have that month where you don't have to worry about refilling to transfer your prescription to that pharmacy that you find or stroke like so yeah that is a very long-winded but a very essential thing i think if uh we're going to talk about health we need to talk about obviously pre-existing conditions conditions that might come up suddenly and also emergencies as well nobody tells you about these things you've gone to study but you're still taking your body with you again you and your ten toes are still you know carrying yourselves across and things can come up god forbid but they do come up and you want to be ready and prepped because panic will ensue when you're when you're stressed and unwell panic will ensue you're like oh my god what do i do what do i do and sometimes you know if you have these things on order you can plan yourself you can be like you know i can take a taxi to the a and e uh, and be seen or maybe i have already booked with my gp i've already registered so all i need to do is get an appointment it just makes life easier and last but not least the people that will be sexing it up my active sexual participants <laughs> talking to you um safe sex always safe sex but also please find out where your sexual health clinic is hello hello again safe sex always but things will always come up nonetheless it is uh, it is a human world <laughs> so please find out where your sexual health clinic is these places are so important for those awkward conversations for those necessary conversations about sex like things will come up and if you're actively participating in the sexing you need to know where your sexual health clinic is because these people will give you free advice they will give you free amenities i know our sexual health clinic was on campus as well uh, it was near the um well, you could speak to the nurse at the health center uh, but there was also like a sexual health hub at the student union and that place lovely free free pads free tampons free condoms so for my people that like free things find out where your sexual health clinic is usually they're very very um advertisey during freshers just find out where they are because again it's all fun and games until something happens and you need someone to talk to you need that advice so find out where your sexual health clinic is if you unfortunately have a raggedy uni that does not have one on site not good but if you do again speak to your gp and find out sexual health nurse on site do you have one how are they accessible it's important because now we're doing adulting this is the adulting part that nobody tells you about you get you gotta hook yourself up like <laughs> yeah <laughs> so all that being said guys thank you so much for watching so those are my tips on like health matters at uni number one find out where your nearest hospital is number two sign up to a gp near you at uni number three 
so sort out your prescriptions before you leave home and transfer them over to your nearest pharmacy and number four please 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 find out where your sexual health clinic is because safe sex is a must but in case anything goes wrong and in case you have awkward questions that you don't want to be asking your friends these are the people you talk to they're trained in this um there's counselors as well like uh, at some of these um sites in case anything unsavory and godly happens god forbid but uni is a place where <laughs> madness happens you know so in case anything happens that you're like i need to talk to someone sexual health clinic my people so those, that was me and a health. I hope you guys gained some sort of value um, from this video. And this whole week is Freshers Series Week. So the next video is on academics. And I better, I better see you there. I better. Because that is really what has taken you to uni. The book. Um, so I better see you on the next video, guys. Because that one is going to be all tips and advice on all masters academics. Things I wish somebody had told little old me before i went off to uni and i will see you guys at the next one again thank you so much for watching leave a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't um especially leave it in the comments what's one thing you wish somebody had told you about health matters before you went to uni <laughs> and i'll see you at the next one so so much love Mwah.